anyone asked who the richest man in the world is will immediately think of names like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos. On the other hand, the richest women in the world are not as well known, despite their significant contributions to society and achievements. Recently, it was revealed that Francoise Betancourt Myers, the granddaughter of L'Oreal's founder, is the richest woman in the world for the second year in a row. Myers debuted on Forbes World's Billionaires list in 2018, following her mother's death, Lillian Betancourt, in September 2017. Betancourt was the richest woman in the world at the time. Myers inherited her wealth after her death and became the world's richest woman. Nonetheless, little is known about Myers, who has been known to avoid media attention. Today's video depicts five facts about the richest woman, Francoise Betancourt Myers. Make sure to watch the video till the end and subscribe for more. Here we begin. Number 5. Real Estate and Car Collection She inherited assets worth tens of billions of dollars, including a Parisian mansion in the suburbs of Paris. The property is in newly sur seine a posh neighborhood west of Paris. Francoise inherited the lavish Parisian mansion of her mother, Lillian. In France, newly sur seine is known as a power suburb, a location not only of wealth but also of influence. Second, Betancourt spends her vacations at Arcoest Headland in Brittany, western France. Betancourt grew up in the mansion Brittany Colonnade Villa. The Brittany estate has 25 rooms, a tennis court, and a swimming pool. Betancourt Myers residence in newly sur seine in July 2010. In fact, French police raided this residence in 2010 as part of their investigation into the Betancourt case. Talking about her car collection, unlike her mother, who enjoyed black Mercedes, it appears she does not. She prefers to spend her money on her piano rather than on exotic cars, so no information on her vehicles is available. Number 4. Lifestyle and Vacations Francoise Betancourt Myers may be the world's wealthiest woman, but her path has not been easy. Betancourt Myers and her mother had a strained relationship. Furthermore, the Betancourts were well-known in French society for their lavish and private parties. Despite being born into a wealthy family, Betancourt Myers preferred playing the piano and writing to extravagant parties. Betancourt Myers, unsurprisingly, was not a part of her socialite parents' glamorous lifestyle. Moreover, the Myers family and their son Jean Victor Myers spent their vacation in the French Alps on the Megid Slopes. They also pay visits to their ancestral home in Brittany, Arcoest. Lillian, her mother, loved to travel to places like Seychelles, Agadir, and Barbuda. As a result, we can assume that as their only daughter, she must have joined her mother on those trips. Also, Myers preferred to avoid the spotlight, despite coming from a family that threw lavish parties and attended glamorous events. Meanwhile, she enjoyed playing the piano and reading, both of which she had done since she was a child. Number 3. Investments, Endorsements, and Career Betancourt Myers has also contributed to her family's charitable foundation, which promotes scientific and artistic development in France. Furthermore, the organization annually awards cash grants to promising young scientists. Besides this, it has a budget of 250 million euros per year, with 55% going to research and educational programs, 33% going to humanities and social sciences, and 12% going to culture and the arts. The foundation's assets are currently worth nearly $700 million. Yet, surprisingly, the chairwoman of L'Oreal does not require any endorsements because she is the world's largest cosmetic company owner. Talking about her career, Betancourt Myers, unlike most billionaire heiresses, has focused her efforts on her work as an author and member of L'Oreal's board of directors. She was raised as a strict Catholic and has written several Bible commentaries. She married Jim and Pierre Myers, the grants of an Auschwitz rabbi, and raised their children Jean Victor and Nicholas as Jews. Her marriage sparked debate because her grandfather, Eugene Schuler, was on trial for collaborating with the Nazi government. Betancourt Myers and her family retain a 33% stake in the company. Jean Pierre Myers, her husband, is the CEO of Tithes SAS, a French spirits producer. He also serves on the boards of Nestle and Morial. Nestle, with a 23.29% stake, is the company's second largest shareholder. The couple also has two grown children, Jean Victor and Nicholas. Jean Victor joined the L'Oreal Board of Directors in 2012, alongside Betancourt Myers. Aside from that, she has established herself far too well to need to bother with anything. Number 2. Contributions 
Myers is currently the president of a philanthropic foundation she co-founded with her parents, politician Lillian and Andrew Betancourt. The Betancourt Schuler Foundation, founded in 1987, aims to improve French society, promote inclusivity, and increase France's influence on the international stage in life sciences and the arts. Since its inception, the foundation has awarded prizes to 620 laureates and supported over 1,000 projects led by talented individuals, teams, associations, and organizations. In addition, Myers and her family, along with L'Oreal as a company, donated $226 million to aid in the restoration of the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, which was badly damaged by a fire in 2019. The fire left Paris' famed medieval cathedral a scorched shell of its former self. Number 1. Net Worth According to Forbes, Françoise Betancourt Myers is a French businesswoman, philanthropist, writer, pianist, and billionaire Harris with a net worth of $75.3 billion as of March 2022. She is Lillian Betancourt's only child and the granddaughter of a L'Oreal founder, Eugene Schuler. Her mother died in September 2017, after which her fortune tripled thanks to her investments through her family holding company, Tethys Invest, and the stock exchange's high valuation of L'Oreal shares. Let's get into the brief. L'Oreal founder Eugene Schuler created a hair dye solution called Oriel in 1907, sold it to Parisian hairdressers, and later registered the company as L'Oreal. Lillian Betancourt, Schuler's daughter, and Francois's mother, inherited her father's fortune. In 1957, the power couple quickly rose to socialist status in France thanks to her husband, French politician Andre Betancourt. With that, she owns a 33% stake in L'Oreal. L'Oreal Say is a French cosmetics and personal care company based in Clichy, Hots de Seine. With a registered office in Paris, it is the world's largest cosmetics company with activities focusing on hair color, skin care, sun protection, makeup, perfume, and hair care. L'Oreal is one of the world's largest and most recognizable cosmetics brands, and the man behind that brand was Eugene Schuler, Meyer's grandfather. That was not easy for her to get 33% stakes as she sued Francois-Marie Bainier in 2008 for stealing money from her mother, and she filed a petition to have her mother declared mentally incompetent. The Worth Betancourt scandal arose due to the revelations in the secret recordings she used as evidence. Betancourt Myers announced in December 2010 that she had reached an out-of-court settlement with both her mother and Bainier. Betancourt Meyer's mother died in September 2017 with a net worth of approximately $39.5 billion, placing her among the top 20 richest people in the world. That is how Meyers still owns a 33% stake in the company after inheriting her wealth from her mother. Despite the global pandemic that devastated the global economy, Aloria reported that its sales revenue would reach $35.5 billion in 2021. Despite owning stakes in L'Oreal, she also makes money from her writings. Meyer, who was born and raised a Catholic, used her faith to explore the literary world, writing and publishing several biblical commentaries that looked at words and expressions of the Bible, as well as the family trees and tribes that were present. She also wrote a book about the Greek gods and Jewish-Christian relations, focusing on their ancestors. Myers is the author of several books, including The Greek Gods and A Look at the Bible. What do you think of the richest woman, Francois Betancourt Myers, and her journey? Did these facts about the richest women surprise you? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more. See you soon.